still ahead on World News Tonight this Sunday. A very old idea that could revolutionize how dry states deal with drought. It's been a miserable winter in the West, the wettest season in California in more than a century. But as ABC's Judy Muller reports now, something bright has come from all those dark clouds, a revolutionary yet old-fashioned way of making use of rainwater. In the last few weeks, Los Angeles has had more than 35 inches of rain. Most of that water has run straight down to the sea. Los Angeles is nearly two-thirds paved. The land is sealed. So almost all the water that falls runs off. The amounts are stunning. An estimated 80 billion gallons have been lost. For a city built in a desert that imports 85% of its water at a cost of a billion dollars a year, says Andy Lipkus, that's an enormous waste. We hemorrhage 3.8 billion gallons of water when it rains just under a half an inch in Los Angeles. His environmental group, Tree People, has convinced the city to invest in a simple idea that goes back to the dawn of civilization. Catch the rainwater in underground cisterns. The first project, a 110,000-gallon tank at this Los Angeles elementary school, has provided enough irrigation water to transform asphalt into green playing fields. In economic terms, we no longer have a water bill, in essence. Trees now shade the buildings, reducing the need for air conditioning. At a dedication ceremony this past week, tree people demonstrated how the system works by creating their own flash flood. The water is funneled through storm drains into the cistern, where it passes through a filtration unit. That underground treatment unit filters out this witch's brew of sediment, oil and gas, animal waste, and trash. A tanker truck comes along on a regular basis, pumps it out, and takes it away. Those waste products would otherwise head right into the Pacific Ocean. This creek here drains most of Los Angeles. The oceans become toxic. People get sick. The city is looking into building more cisterns. Given that half of all the water in L.A. goes to lawns, a network of cisterns could save enormous amounts of money over time. Sounds simple. If a small elementary school can do it, we have to ask ourselves, why can't a big company? <laughs> as simple as putting away something for a sunny day. Judy Muller, ABC News, Los Angeles.